what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today it's another capture one with retouching tutorial i'm going to be showing you just a little tip or trick you can use in capture one to make your photo look amazing or get the best results out of your raw images before taking it to photoshop and maybe any other software to make some other adjustments so let's get started now in this photo you can notice that the model is brighter than the background and some of the plays are just exposed even if it's not exposed but it's, too, it's exposed for me so let's turn on the exposure warning and you can just see little 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 you know the red red sign all over uh, even if the um the rest part is not exposed so quickly i'm just going to fix a little exposure and that's by creating a new adjustment i'm going to name it um, exposure and for me i like using the white balance first of all to make things balance so select the white balance too and if you hit them on the keyboard you can know that it's new fill layer the max is over everything so i'm just going to select where i know it should be white of which what she's putting on should be white so we could select a place and boom and that made an adjustment but it's actually too much so let's just select keep on selecting i'm going to make it uh, a shot again and i'm going to try out let's try out some other places so there and zoom in and we have this so let's do another one a shot and find out another sweet spot and we we'll just get a little bit the same thing we had the other time okay so let's not uh, bother ourselves with that like i said the exposure is what we need to fix okay so now i'm just going to reduce the way the yellow is just a bit and we have it like this so we know some greens are present of which we are going to be adjusting that in a bit so let's bring down the white and bring down the highlight now bringing down the highlight keeps the details you see at the neck so if i turn it off and on and you could see if at all i want to turn this off so you can see that and turn this one off and on so you can see the difference and we could also bring down the exposure a bit and we have that so now let's turn the back the you know white balance okay it's all gone so i'm just going to select again and this time let's make use of the shot she's putting on drag it up and it looks white but i'm just going to select this part and we have what we have the way it is okay so now we need to now start making real adjustment to the image so let's create another new few adjustment and this time i want to adjust the colors so let's go to the color editor go to the basic pick these two and let's select somewhere here and it shows orange but the orange is too much so i'm just going to decrease not too much just a bit don't want to look a look you know make a look pale so that should do the trick of the yellow 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 we see everywhere now the saturation of the green as well i'm just gonna click on it and we have the green let's decrease the saturation and just something like that we could go to the yellows of which i see some yellow in the leaves and make it looks look like this go back to the green bring this back and make things look greenish just like that and now we can start messing around with the you know the model okay so now let's whiten up the teeth create a new empty layer i'm going to select the teeth and the eyes they already have the same color so let's make the brush bigger and select the teeth just hit them on the keyboard to show where we're selecting i'm going to zoom in and take the image so something like this I'm just gonna do a rough work quickly take the eraser to make it smaller and remove it from the lips okay so that looks okay now i'm gonna select this back in fact let me just select the whole eyes same thing with this 
the whole eyes of the thing and it's M on the keyboard let's start with the teeth so now the max is going to be affecting just the eyes and the teeth select the um, white balance tool and I'm going to be selecting the teeth and boom we have this so off and on so that's not where we're going to stop we're going to go to the exposure and the um, eye dynamic range so decrease the saturation it's going to make it white and we could increase the brightness by one and the highlights and the whites next amount and that's too bright I'm just going to reset just what we adjust okay but the saturation I'm going to leave it away so let's see this the before and then the after and now we could make the you know lips red but let's work on the skin tones so I'm going to create another layer let's create another new empty layer and I'm going to select the skin it's M nothing selected so let's select this all right so we've selected the skin don't mind the line you see I was using the normal brush max and um, brush yeah so now that we have I'm going to hit M on the keyboard to hide that let's go to the color editor go down to the skin tones select the you know um, yeah the sampler tool okay let's just pick anywhere and I think I like the way this place looks so yeah give me the range I want uh, increase the U somewhere like that and I don't actually like the yellow I see but let's make the skin tones uniform first of all and make it look let's decrease the brightness the lightness and now that we have that I'm going to increase the saturation yeah and now I don't if you take it to do towards the right it's going to be yellow but I want to remove that you know yellow feeling like look at what I'm trying to say it's gonna look yellow I don't want that I want you know, the original look of which we have this right now now the photo is starting to make you know a little sense okay so now let's create another layer it's just you no know, making adjustment little little adjustment let's create a few layer and what we are going to be doing with that is to go to the advanced and the color editor go to basic and let's start adjusting things one by one so i'm going to pick this color and we have the red let's you know increase the saturation of the red not too much though but we can change the u to what we want and we have yeah that looks okay so we have this one i'm gonna leave it right there let's see what this color look like look like the yellow so we could you know increase that let's see what the neck look like and that's the orange part and we could you know take it up a bit but i don't want it to make start looking you know fake so which is that and we are going to take the color on the background which is the green and we could you know just mess around with the colors so then let's make it look more green like you know if in the garden of hidden i'm going to increase the saturation as well and let's create another new yeah new layer open up new layer empty layer no sorry new fill layer and this should be for the air so i'm going to select the air itself or let's just yes let's select the air so i'm going to move over with the brush tool 